In most cases, being a good boss means hiring talented people and then getting out of their way. Tina Fey Welcome, I am Dr. Kamran Sandhu from the Research Incubation for Sustainable Development. In today's video, you will learn about human resource planning process and forecasting techniques. Next, you will learn how to calculate requirement and availability and describe what action should be taken if workforce is surplus or shortage, what decision you would like to take. These are the key points like number one human resource planning, number two strategic planning and the human resource planning process, then forecasting requirements, forecasting HR availability, surplus of employee forecasted shortage and succession planning and development. So what is human resource planning? There is a question. What is planning? Plannings or plans are methods so as to achieve required results. Goals or objectives are specific results you want to achieve. As per definition, planning is a process of establishing objectives and courses of action prior to taking action. So you have to focus on courses of action. Second question is what is planning concerned with? Planning provides a sense of purpose and direction and it is a comprehensive framework for making decisions, decisions in advance also facilitates organizing, leading and controlling functions, consequences of various courses of action. Is planning really needed? Answer is, if a company never faced changes in the environment, they are stable technologically and human resource management perspective, there would have been no need for planning. Planning is one of the functional area of HR. Now comes strategic planning and the human resource planning process. So what is the difference in both terminologies? In strategic planning, top management determines overall organizational purpose and objectives and how they are to be achieved. And what is human resource planning? It is the process of systematically reviewing human resource requirement to ensure that the required number of employees with the required skills are available whenever they are needed. After a strategic plan, human resource planning can be undertaken. HR planning has two elements. Number one, requirement and number two, availability. So whenever there is a requirement of human resource to complete certain operations, there must be availability of the human resource, otherwise company is unable to complete that order. What are the benefits of HR planning? There are a number of benefits like uh, it is helpful in job assignments, fluctuation in staffing, recruitment needs along with many other useful information. There are different techniques being used here. Forecasting is carried out in two basic areas which are demand forecast of workforce for organization and supply forecast for the organization. So to perform these two functions, you will see the upcoming statistical approaches which are helpful in this regard. So number one is trend analysis, then ratio analysis, and then regression analysis. Furthermore, you can also forecast by judgmental methods. In this method, management will judge, will observe the requirement, and will arrange its availability to complete certain tasks. Forecasting involves two activities. Number one, monitoring what's going on. And number two, investigating if there is any problem. These are two main activities undertaken 
during forecasting process. Forecasting human resource requirements. There are four forecasting human resource requirement methods. First one is zero base forecasting. This method uses the organization's current level of employment as the starting point for determining future staffing needs. The key to zero base functioning, the key to zero base forecasting is a thorough analysis of human resource need. Next point is bottom up approach, a forecasted method in which each successive level of the organization starting with the lowest and forecasts its employee requirement in order to ultimately provide an aggregate forecast of employment need. So there is a point of aggregation. Use of mathematical models. Mathematical models can assist in forecasting HR requirements. The relationship between sales demand and number of employees needed is a positive one. Finally, simulation. It is a technique for experimenting with the real world situation through a mathematical model representing that situation. A model is an abstraction of the real world. Next point is forecasting human resource availability. At this slide, we will understand forecasting human resource availability. First point is determine whether the firm will be able to secure employees with the necessary skills and from what sources. These individuals may be obtained is called an availability forecast. Surplus of employee forecasting. Determining whether the firm will be able to secure employees with the necessary skills. Surplus of employees forecasted. When a comparison of requirements and availability indicates a worker surplus will result restricting hiring, reduce hours, early retirements and layoffs. So first point is restricted hiring. When a firm implements a restricted hiring policy, it reduces the workforce by not replacing employees who leave. So whenever there are fewer orders, an organization wants to reduce the human resource and if somebody will leave the company, they will never go for replacement. Reduce hours. Reaction to a declining demand like in COVID-19 era can also be made by reducing the total hours workload instead of uh, continuing a 40 hour week. For example, management may decide to cut each employee's time to 30 hours or 20 hours. All it depends on condition, situation and need. Early retirements. Early retirement of some present employees is another means of reducing the supply of the worker. So if a company is facing financial crunch, there are fewer orders, company may take decision for early retirement. Like we can mention here, golden handshake scheme in Pakistan. Then comes layoff. During the work environment, the firm has no choice but to actually pay off part of its workforce if there is shortage of orders. So what is succession planning? Succession planning is a process of ensuring that a qualified and skilled human resource is always available to assume a managerial position if the position is vacant. Succession development. It is a process of determining comprehensive job profile of the key positions and making sure that key prospects are properly developed so as to match these qualifications. So what are the steps in HRP process? Number one, impact of organizational objectives on specific organizational units. We say that in organization, there are always different units. They are working together to achieve common goal. And if there is objective or goal and which needs to be accomplished, then all departments must be at one page. Skills required to meet objectives. So once we have designed objectives of an organization, if there is a need of human resource with required skills, 
so we have to make sure that all the human resource with required skills is available next point is additional human resource requirement we have to determine additional human resource requirements in light of the current hr requirements and finally we have to develop an action plan so as to meet the anticipated hr needs so there are four points in hrp human resource planning process why it is important because of the globalization presently world is going to be digital and now there are borderless economy the growth is so fast that to match the pace has become challenge but if organization wants to survive in this era he has to understand the challenges and then make the remedial measures new technologies as i mentioned that it is a digital era technological advancements are coming day by day so if a company wants to succeed or compete in the market he has to adopt the latest technology for their production process then comes the changing skill levels as new technology is on its way parallelly we need upgraded skills like in institutions the skill level being taught is not which is required in the industry so there is a gap and there should be training opportunities for the employees to upgrade their skills so as to perform the jobs satisfactorily changing demographics world is global village people come and go from different places to so change can be demographically psychographically behaviorally so we have to address the challenge and how to address the gender challenge i have already mentioned in my last lecture you can watch that mergers and acquisitions are on their way especially in the covid era some companies are not growing mergers and acquisitions has got the lead so we have to understand this model as well and finally legal development whatever we perform sitting in the market we have to follow the government rules and regulations and these rules and regulations are related to labor laws environment laws water wastage quality productivity and many more these are the references thank you very much i hope today's uh, video is helpful to you that i have uh, uh, explained the concept of human resource planning its importance how to achieve the objective you can apply this knowledge within your organization or you can apply this knowledge in your academia life you can subscribe my channel if you want for more videos best of luck